What's up you guys? Hey, thanks for watching this video again. A little bit of a different location today, but I think it's super chill. Anyway, today I want to talk about intuitive intelligence. And intuitive intelligence is, I think, really important to aspire to. Basically, a lot of you guys watching my videos are studying things to memorize. Mostly memorizing for a test, or a midterm, or a quiz, or classroom questions, or whatever it is. But what you don't realize, or you may not realize, is you need to memorize those things in order to eventually get yourself in a position to have intuitive intelligence about a subject. And essentially intuitive intelligence is when you have mastered a subject or you know so much about it, you're like super into it, that you can come up with solutions to problems that you don't actually have to go into a book and look at. I mean, you don't have to look up the answer. You see a problem and you intuitively have the answer to it. You don't exactly know where that comes from. So you can't say, well, on page, you know, 368 of uh, volume two of Masters of Surgery, the answer to this problem. But because you have seen so many of the types of problems in various iterations, then the intuitive that you have inside you is telling you, it's like your gut now giving you the right answer. I guess my point of the video is I know a lot of you message me and say, I am studying, but I don't see the point point in memorizing these things. The point in memorizing those is to build your intuitive intelligence. And it takes a long time, especially in medicine, but even in psychology, or if you're going to be an attorney or engineering or anything else, it takes a long time to build that intuitive intelligence. But my point is stick with it it's for a reason. Not every little thing you memorize is going to be super important, but you are building your intuitive intelligence uh, for later when you do need to solve problems that there's no real answer to because this is another issue that you come across when you're professional. There are patients that I see all the time, there's no book answer. And you just have to intuitively say, These, this is the way I think we should go. These are the things I think we should do today. And every day you're intuitively taking care of that patient and making decisions based on all 15 to 20 years of my reading and experience with other people. Anyway, I hope you liked that video. Uh, subscribe, like, share, all that good stuff. And I'll see you the next one.